Hello YouTube, I keep this in the back of my truck. I've had it in there for several years. Well, I, I don't know how that happened. Something had to fall on that. That ain't just cracked from the weather. Well, this is what happened. There was some other stuff I took out. There's my log chain and my four-way all rusted. Well, what we're going to do is we're sure that don't leak. We, 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 looked, we, had it, we already had the chain out and looked over real good. We're going to put a, all we got is a half gallon of vinegar. So if the whole chain won't fit, we'll just do like half and then take it out and soak the other half. And after we soak both halves, we might add like a mix with some water. Uh, the four-way, we're not going to really worry about that. We'll wire brush that off. I have new chrome lug nuts, so I don't need this in. This was made because my wheel studs were longer. Uh, like on a stock car, they were longer. So I, I actually custom made this. So that's going out of the way. So I kept extra antifreeze brake fluid and stuff in here. So here we're going to do. Did I say that? Here we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. So here we go. We're going to pour some vinegar in here, in here. And we'll come back later and show you the results. It might be a day or who knows how long it'll be. So let's get with this program here. And get this done. Okay. We got about as much as we can get in there. We're going to wait a couple hours. Come out and look at it. And then we'll just keep alternating. Uh, we're going to put the lid on top so it doesn't evaporate. But we are first going to go fix that crack. We're going to put some waterproof like duct tape over that crack on the inside. Um, so we can still reuse the container. So we'll be back when this is done and show you how good it looks. Okay, we cleaned that up with some acetone and this kind of tape we're going to use. Keep your tape in the bag so you don't get it dirty. Plus the sides are sticky and it gathers dirt. Uh, I watched a video on this Probably a couple it's pretty good for waterproofing too. It's real sticky the glue on it is like a white layer and then the other I'll show you a piece when I'm done so you can see what it looks like Okay, we cut that with a razor blade so it's nice clean edge. That's how sticky that is I stuck it together and then pulled it apart see where my dirty fingers were It's really gooey stuff so I know it'll be waterproof enough. I, I trust it. Uh, it's better than the really cheap duct tape. It probably was like eight bucks a roll. And I cannot tell you how many yards is on the roll. I don't have the label. But I paid that for it because I knew I'd be using it. Uh, I want to try to use it on like a couple of tarps when I get a hold to see if it'll work. So there we go there. The piece on the inside. So I think it'll be reusable. You know, I throw it away. That's the only problem with it. Uh, pretty soon we'll go back out and show you the chain what it looks like. Okay, we scrubbed this with a scrub pad, sandpaper, and this will be put on it. Bonds the plastic. I fixed uh, car headlights with that stuff. Sand them down, 1,000 grit, 2,000 grit, whatever. And just spray it on the car headlight and it works. I've got the headlight to prove it. I don't know if I ever made a video of it. It's still drying. I had it inside where it was warm. I couldn't take the smell of it anymore. And we got the log chain up here. That's the best we're going to get that. We're going to hang it up and spray it with some flat black paint. It's just a log chain. I've had that thing for probably 30 years of my life. And I can't even tell you how long it is. I know I lost like 10 feet of it one time. It broke or something happened. So it used to be like 10 foot longer than that. I've always carried it in all my vehicles. Everything I've ever owned, I've had a tow chain in the trunk. So, okay, there we go. We're about done. We'll bring you back whenever it's painted. Okay, we painted this till the paint dripped off. Here's how we got this hung up. This thing's heavy. I still can't tell you how long it is. I soaked it. I had paint dripping off. And I got underneath, I sat on my little block, got underneath and sprayed underneath on both sides. Went around and sat on the other side and did it, because I was not about to try to turn the chain. So, there you go. We're done. Thanks for watching.